हाई फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो माई टूडेज टॉपिक इज सब्ट्रैक्शन विथ बोरोइंग मै आव ऑलरेडी मेड अ मी वीडियो ऑन सब्ट्रैक्शन इन विच आई इंक्लूडेड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ सब्ट्रैक्शन एंड सिंगल डिजिट एग्जाम्पल्स नाउ नाउ माई टूडेज टॉपिक इज सब्ट्रैक्शन विथ बोरिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वीडियो बेटर फर्स्ट प्लीज गो एंड वॉच द कंसेप्ट ऑफ सब्ट्रैक्शन विच विल गिव यू बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ दिस वीडियो सो नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ द कंसेप्ट always write hto because this makes easier for the children to understand which number goes under ones and which number goes under tens which number goes under hundreds so starting with the first example i have written hto now my first example is 34 minus 2 now apply the concept of subtraction 4 minus 2 always start with ones then tens then hundreds and then thousands if there are four digits so always go from right to left when solving the sum of subtraction 4 minus 2 so count after 2 till 4 3 4 answer is 2 now go to the next number next number is 3 below that there is no number so the number comes down as it is so answer is final answer is 32 Now let's go towards the next example. Again, write HTO. Now question is eighty-eight minus sixty-six. Difference between this and this is here there was single digit, here there are double digits. So let's start again with ones. Eight minus six. So count after six till eight. Seven and eight. So two. Now let's go to the next number. Again eight minus six. Now count after six till eight. So seven and eight two. So final answer comes to twenty two. Let's go towards the next example. HTO example is twenty four minus zero. Starting with ones four minus zero. Now whenever you subtract zero from any number, the answer remains the number. So four comes down as it is. And there is no number below two, so two comes down as it is. Now let's go towards the next example. Write again H T O fifty four minus thirty six. Now you have to start with ones, then go towards tens, then hundreds. So starting with ones, now have to subtract four minus six. But how can I do that when I have four chocolates and somebody is asking for six chocolates? How will I give them six chocolates when I have four chocolates myself? So what do I do in that case? I borrow. From where do I borrow? From the next number. How do I borrow? So my next number is number five. Now four is lesser than six. So how will I borrow? I will take one number one, one number from five. So how will I do it? I will subtract five minus one. So count after one till five. Two, three, four, five. So what remains? If I take one chocolate from five chocolates, four remains with me. And where does that one chocolate go? It comes over here. Now, pay attention over here. You are not supposed to add one and four. Now this one and four becomes fourteen. Now fourteen, uh, six can be easily subtracted from fourteen. So again, apply the concept of subtraction. Count after six till fourteen. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So answer is eight. Now moving towards the next number. Now my number over here is not five. My new number over here is four. So I have to subtract three minus four. So after three, count till four. So three, one, right? After three comes four. So one number. So answer is eighteen. So this is the concept of borrowing. We'll do better with one uh, one more example. Write again H T O. Example is eighty minus forty seven. Now starting with ones again. Zero minus seven. I have zero chocolates and somebody is asking for seven chocolates. How will I give them? I have to borrow from the next number. I have to take from the next number. My next number is number eight. So I will take one chocolate from number eight. So I will subtract one from eight. 
So count after 1 till 8. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So answer is 7. And where does that 1 go? It comes over here. Now this becomes 1 and 0, 10. You are not supposed to add. 1 and 0 becomes 10. So now we have to subtract 7 minus 10. So again the concept of subtraction. Uh, count after 7 till 10. 8, 9 and 10. So 3 is my answer over here. Now let's go towards the next number. Now my new number is number 7 and not number 8. So 7 minus 4. 4 is to be subtracted from number 7. So count after 4 till 7. 5, 6, 7, 3. So my final answer over here is 33. So this is the concept of subtraction with borrowing. Make your child practice this concept by giving them different kinds of sums. They will be able to get the hold on this concept easily. So if you found my video helpful, please like, share and subscribe with your family. Thank you.